Sasquatch. Apparently, Minnesota has a new theme for this year. It's messing with Mitch. <laughs> 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 Mitch Leidner, the quarterback of the Gophers, getting a lot of preseason hype. Joining us now along with Jack Lynn and Demarius Travis. What was going on there? Well, I thought that was Demarius' Snapchat, but apparently it wasn't. <laughs> <laughs> he was going to interview, and we just... Uh, and we decided to just photo bomb him. All right. yeah. You guys had enough oh, yeah. of him getting all the spotlight? Yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> right, I respect that. Uh, first full year under Tracy Clays. So this has been a year of transition, but at the same time, you guys kind of knew what to expect. You had four or five games last year with Coach Clays at the helm. But what's, what's the difference? What's new with Minnesota football now that you have a, a, a full-time change at the head coaching spot? Well, uh, first off, I think, uh, you know, Coach Clays has done an amazing job since taking over. Um, he's a guy that everybody, he, everybody on our team looks to uh, as far as leadership, and uh, he's given us a lot of freedom as seniors and, and the rest of our, us on the team, uh, upperclassmen, to be able to lead the guys and really be a player-led team. And so uh, giving us that opportunity, I think we're going to have a lot of success this year, you know, due to that. What's changed in your mind, Jack? Um, I just think... The leadership standpoint, you know, players to coaches, it's really one even flowing, you know, machine right now, and it's really working for us. Tamaris? Yeah, I have to agree with these two guys about just like the leadership standpoint, just letting guys just lead the team and just be the voice of the team. You guys went five and seven last year uh, in the regular season. I know disappointing for you, but you still got a chance to get into the postseason and to get a win. What did that do, Demarius, for this team to, to pick up the end of the season with a, a postseason win? What did it do in terms of getting momentum into this year? Oh, yeah, it was great, Well, especially for the seniors because we haven't won a bowl game probably in like maybe five years or so. So it was just great to just go into the um, into winter workouts with the momentum and with just good positive energy. Jack, what did that bull win mean to you? I mean, it, what Samiris was uh, saying, it's just it's a good stepping stone in getting into spring ball, you know, just good momentum to build off of. How about for you, Mitch? Yeah, I think it, it gave us a taste of what it's like to be on a, on a podium after a game and be able to, to hoist up a trophy after winning a, a bowl game like that. And uh, it really just motivated guys moving forward from that point. Now, you were out for most of spring ball after having foot surgery, although Coach Clays was telling us you tried to sneak in there perhaps a little more than, <laughs> than you should have. Uh, but give us a sense of where you are physically, how you're feeling. Right. You know, I, I've been 100% here for about a month now. Um, well, I haven't been pain-free in my foot for probably about two years now. So to be able to run around and make full-speed cuts again has, has been great. Um, uh, you know, really, uh, really happy to be able to move again. And... Um, you know, I'm really looking forward to staying healthy all season long. It's important to be able to move when you're a quarterback, particularly one like you. I mean, a lot of your game is predicated on mobility and being able to get out of the pocket and scramble a little bit. How does that change the complexion of this offense, the fact that now you have that back in your arsenal? Well, I think, uh, you know, teams are just going to have to be able to respect the fact that, that I can uh, pull the ball down and run and then, you know, escaping the pocket, you know, I'll be able to, to throw on the run a lot easier now as well. So to be able to get outside the pocket and make plays downfield, uh, uh, throwing the football as well, I think is something that's going to be uh, a tough thing that teams are going to have to stop in, in my game this year. Now, Demarius, you had an injury that kept you out essentially all of last year. You played the TCU game and, and yeah. that was it. So I think the same question to you. <laughs> How are you feeling physically? Oh, I'm feeling pretty good. You know, I'm back to 100%. Had to lose a couple pounds or whatever. So I'm feeling pretty good. I'm back to running full speed now, doing, doing everything I need to do, working out, get, um, getting uh, all my reps in the weight room, just not having to modify um, my workouts. So I'm back, I'm back to normal now. Must have been devastating, right? You go through an entire off season, you go through the preseason, you're ready to go. You have a really good game yeah. out of the gate against TCU. What was it like for you to sit on the sidelines and watch last year? Man, it was. Man, I was hurt just having to watch the guys out there play from the sideline, and I'm out there coaching guys, screaming on the field like the down in distance, like what to watch for next and stuff. But I just felt like I was one of the coaches. <laughs> Well, speaking of the coaches, Coach Sabell, the defensive coordinator, has said Demarius is the most valuable guy 
on your defense. What, what would you say to that, Jack? How uh, important I, is it to have him back in yeah, there? Yeah, I mean, I agree 100%. You know, he's, he's a great leader in the locker room. And he's a great football player outside, you know, and just on the field. But uh, he just he's helping the freshmen out a lot from where they are, you know, in the beginning of the summer to where they are now. It's, you know, tremendous, you know, what he's done with those guys. You have a new offensive coordinator in Jay Johnson. What can we expect schematically from the Gophers offense? Well, I think it's not going to be too far off to what it was last year. But, uh, you know, our reads, progressions, everything like that is much more consistent than it's been in the past. And I think this new offense really gives guys an opportunity to, to master what they're doing. We're not going to change things that much week in and week out. And to give our receivers a, the ability to really, like I said, master what they're doing out there, I think, uh, you know, it'll be tough for teams to stop. Even even if they were to know something's coming, you know, they still got to defend some pretty good players in and, and a thing that they've mastered. I had a hard time in the spring game categorizing exactly what it was you guys were doing offensively. You know, is it spread? Is it pro set? Well, what would you, how, how do you describe it? I know he's run some pistol in the past. It, mm -hmm. yeah, offensively, what, if someone says, what do you guys do? What do you hang your hat on? What is it? I'd have to say pro style. Right. Mm -hmm. Okay. And how do, how do you feel like that fits with, with who you're going to? who you are as a quarterback and, and your personnel. Yeah, I think it fits good with me. You know, I'm, uh, you know, over the years I've learned that uh, I'm not going to be throwing the ball every single down. So, uh, you know, getting the getting those running backs touches and letting those O-line, uh, O-linemen up front go bury some guys, uh, that's definitely a, you know, it's, it's a good thing as a quarterback to be able to hand the ball off to those guys and let them work. And then, you know, when we are, you know, expected to pass and complete the ball downfield, I think we got the receivers and personnel to be able to do that. Who are the receivers? Because that's one of the areas where I'd say if I looked at your team, I'm concerned mm -hmm. losing K.J. May. Who are the guys you think could step up and, and be playmakers for you out wide? Definitely. Well, I think uh, Drew Altarski is probably going to be, uh, you know, has the opportunity to be the best receiver out of those groups this year, being a senior, uh, a leader. You know, Eric Carter is another guy who I'm expecting to have a huge year this year. You know, other guys outside of those, you know, you got Melvin Holland, who I need to have a big year, Rashad Still. Um, you know, there, there's uh, there's a few other guys on the roster as well, but those guys, uh, you know, I'm really I really have high expectations for them, and they've done well this summer so far. So I'm hoping for those guys to continue that into fall camp here. Jack and Demarius, you guys went head to head against that offense in the spring, so you got a sense right away as to what Minnesota is going to do and maybe how it's going to change. What, what were the challenges of going against, obviously without Mitch, but what were the challenges of going against that go for attack? I mean, just the offensive lines developed a lot more this year, and you know they're bigger, faster, stronger, and it's just how their new brand, their new style of football that they're playing on the offensive lines, one of the biggest changes. What did you see, Demarius? Um, <clears throat> I seen that our run game is pretty strong. We have a lot of a lot of depth at running back. You know, we have um, Shannon Brooks and we have Rodney Smith. Those are pretty um, explosive guys, and just giving the ball to those guys and just letting them just make a play. That was probably one of the biggest things from um, from what I've seen in the spring. It's interesting. You talk about Shannon Brooks, and we talk about him a lot in our green room when we're watching the games. I'm not sure there is a guy in the Big Ten I've seen that runs with as much attitude. I mean, he runs so hard. Yes. Yeah, What's yeah, the challenge of bringing him down, Jack, when you're shooting? <laughs> <laughs> it's just he, there's no good way to hit him. You know, he's <laughs> always moving. He's always spinning. He's always doing something. There's no solid way to hit him. That's kind of what his main you know, strength is. It's just the fact that you're always awkward when you try to go and hit him. Did you see that coming in the preseason last year? Because he kind of came out of nowhere a little bit. He wasn't necessarily expected to be your feature back. Yeah, I mean, we saw it coming all through camp. You know, he was he was doing some crazy stuff in fall camp. And, you know, you can kind of see it coming a little bit. Yeah. Camp, yeah. Demarius, to me, the secondary was the strength of your team last year. But you lose Brienne Body Calhoun. You lose yeah. Eric Murray. You come back, and, and so that obviously is, is additive in, in that secondary. But why should we expect that there won't be a drop-off in, in this go for defensive backfield because we still have talent like guys that have been behind them they have learned from those guys they picked up the same just attitude and just like willingness just to win and just work hard and we have Jalen Mark um, Ray Buford Keontae Harden and um, Antonio Chanel and those guys have a lot of talent and they're going to contribute to our team's success in the fall 
I was asking Mitch about the wide receivers. I'm always interested in a, a guy who plays in the secondary and their point of view on the receivers. What have you seen from some of these guys as you've gone against them? Yeah, we have a lot of depth at receiver. Also, I like um, I like Drew Balatarski, uh, Eric Carter, uh, Melvin Holland, and those guys. Uh, uh, Matt Morris, um, Adam, those are pretty um, guys that have made plays throughout captain's practice, and those are the guys that really stuck out to me. When you have a new head coach, and Tracy, for all intents and purposes, is a new head coach, you always talk about they're going to put their stamp on the program. This is going to be a Tracy Clay's program. So what's Tracy Clay's stamp? What, what are we going to know Minnesota football for under Tracy Clay's? Um, toughness and confidence are the main two things that, that we put a stamp on, and leadership, and it starts with us guys right here. Mm -hmm. we're, we're just all in group of guys, and we're all fighting for the same thing. Mm -hmm. We're not flashy by any means, but we're, we come to work every single day, and when you walk in our facility, you can feel that kind of electric energy that you know this is gonna be a good football team this year. You mentioned facilities, you guys have a new facility going up. I, I know you might not necessarily get the opportunity to to be there as a player, but what does that mean to this program? Because it's an area where Minnesota has, frankly, been behind. Well, I think, uh, you know, from a leadership standpoint, we've done a good job, I think, this year of being able to teach the younger guys you know, where we come from. And when they get this new facility and all these nice things, you know, I think they're going to have a good idea of, of what it was like for, for us older guys <laughs> that kind of put this foundation down for them. Yeah, yeah. And, um, you know, just teaching those guys how to act right both on and off the field and, and you know, moving forward when they get to, the, to be in that new facility and all those, all those nice things they're going to have, you know, I'm excited for them. <laughs> I mean, it just shows how much the program's taken off and grown since we've been here and now we're leaving, but it's still growing and it's going up. Yeah, for sure, because yeah, we, we basically built those bricks to get all this <laughs> stuff for the young guys and, yeah, just... They're going to enjoy it. You know, it's, it's always nice to get a new facility. <laughs> well, guys, looking forward to this season. Thanks for spending a few minutes with us here. Demarius Travis, Jack Lynn, Mitch Leidner. Guys, best of luck, and we'll see you up at uh, practice a couple weeks from now. Awesome. Thank you. Thank you. Minnesota it. Golden Gophers hoping to build on last year's bowl win.